Okay, welcome back. So today we're going to be looking at another part of data. We're going to be talking about column graphs, but not just column graphs, how to look at side-by-side -side column graphs. So not only are you going to be comparing the different popularity of different things in the column graph, now you can compare two things against each other. Before we do that, let's just go back and talk about some of the features of our graph, because when I get you to create your own graph in the next few days, these are the things I'm going to be looking for. So, firstly, you need to have a title at the top of your graph which explains basically what's going on in the graph. It can't just be a random title that needs to explain what I'm going to be looking at. You need to have a y-axis going up and down which is clearly labelled and straight and going up by the same amount each time. Whether you start at zero or don't start at zero will be depending on what you're exactly looking at because sometimes starting at zero is the best thing, sometimes starting at zero is not the best thing, sometimes going up by twos or by fives is best. That is depending on what the actual data you're giving, you, that you have actually collected. Um, and that's always the vertical axis, and we always go down here, and the x-axis always goes across here, which is evenly spaced across here, and once again, labelled appropriately. Okay, Equally spaced, especially if you're going to be drawing a graph towards the end of the week, when you're drawing a graph, equally spacing things out is really, really important. So they're the things we're going to be looking for in a graph. So a normal column graph, obviously, is just when you're comparing two different things, the blocks that we've done forever. But a side-by-side -side column graph, if you have a look here, has a key up the top, which has girls and boys. And then we have their favourite sports, the number of sports labelled on the X and the Y axis here and what the sports are. And we can see that out of the girls' sports, the girls, six girls like soccer, two girls like soccer ball, one girl like basketball, and one girl liked another sport. And with boys, three of the boys like soccer, two of the boys like softball five of the boys like basketball, and two of the boys like other sports. So with a side-by-side -side column graph, you're actually, not only you're looking at like what was the most popular boys sport or the girls sport, you can also look at which sport was more popular in like with the, between the boys and the girls. You're kind of giving people another option, okay? So you can actually, there's a whole bunch of different ask sports, different questions that you could ask about these things. You could ask questions like, how many more girls liked soccer than boys? And you might go through and go, okay, there's three, six, three more girls liked soccer than, than boys. You might say, how many people like basketball? And then so you have to count up how many boys, sorry, and how many girls. You'd say there were six people who liked basketball as their favorite sports. You might ask people like questions that can actually compare the two against each other. So it's, it's very similar to a column graph but there's going to be two different options. Sometimes you'll have to add those together to make a combined number. Sometimes you'll be comparing them against each other um, or them by themselves. Another example of uh, this is if you were asking people what their favorite holidays of the year were. So this is an American graph, so they're going to use Thanksgiving as an option, but they've asked them between Halloween, Easter, Christmas, and Thanksgiving. And they've gone up here on the X and the Y axis by twos, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and that was uh, 13. And they've asked third graders and fourth graders. Okay, so people in year three and people in year four. And then the blue ones are all in year three and the red, reddish pink ones are all in year four. So if you asked people what was the most popular, what was the most popular holiday? Well, that's an interesting one because you'd have to combine both of them together. So the most popular holiday altogether would be, they're the same, Halloween's, Halloween was more popular by one person. Okay, so you might say, uh, what was the least popular sport, uh, least popular holiday of all the third graders? And you look over here and you say Thanksgiving only had one person as their favourite holiday. So comparing two things against each other. Now these are two easy examples. Sometimes it's going to get harder when we're talking about different years, like how much money a business made in this year compared to this year, and, and it come, kind of goes up and down. It can be a bit trickier. But a side-by-side -side column graph, like I said, it's not just giving you the details about what was the most popular, it's comparing those two things against each other. So by comparing two years or two different groups of people or things like that. So some of the work that I'm going to give you today will be based on side-by-side -side column graphs. If you have any problems, please just let me know. All right, that was a really quick video, but I don't think it was too difficult because next time we're going to get into how to create sector graphs and pie graphs, which will take up a lot more of our time. So I might as well take this opportunity to make just a quick video about side-by-side -side column graphs. Thanks for watching.